Hey, what's up, everybody? Mike back with another video. So 2019 is here, and I hope you guys had a fantastic Christmas and a great new year. So we're going to start the year as we kind of mean to go on, and it's going to be a brand new projector. Now, I've had this projector since uh, December, and we've got a hell of a lot of reviews coming on, but we're going to be checking out Optima's brand new ultra short throw called the HD31 UST. <laughs> So before we get on with today's review, I just want to go and say a massive sorry to you guys for lack of videos over the holiday season. On Christmas Eve, I decided to drive 300 miles up to Scotland. It's been a bit of a crappy year for us, and we've checked ourselves into a hotel and decided to say no to Christmas, no Christmas trees, no lights. So we spent Christmas in a hotel in Scotland, uh, in Edinburgh to be precise, and we did a lot of the uh, you know touristy things, saw a lot of sights, um, and it was absolutely amazing. So there's Edinburgh Castle. We also did. Carlton Hill, that's some unfinished monument, that's Holyrood Palace, uh, the Queen's Scottish resident, and you know, we, we had fun, and it was nice to actually get away, and I also got to fly my drone round, so this is the Parrot and Naffy, there will be a four months later, or six months later, however long I had this drone, and what you can see on screen right now, that's Edinburgh Old Town, it is absolutely amazing, so back with today's video. So the HD31 USD is a pretty new projector. In terms of age, it replaces the Optima original GT5000 and the 5000 Plus short throw, which you can still pick up for a little over £600 for the GT5000, at least on Amazon in the UK. So what does the HD31 USD bring to the party for the price tag of £1,100 plus? In terms of specs, the HD31 UST is rocking a brightness of 3400 lumens, making viewing content with the lights or the curtains open more than a half decent experience. It has a 28,000 to 1 contrast ratio. For a 1080p short throw, that's pretty much in the acceptable range. Uniformity is around 80% plus, which is again very good. Lamp life wise, it comes fitted with a 240 watt bulb that's capable of dishing out 4,000 hours in bright mode, and you can triple that to 12,000 hours by switching to dynamic mode eco mode will give you 10,000 hours and eco plus will give you 15,000 hours but I tend to avoid eco plus wherever possible specifically when I'm watching movies or gaming I get the idea behind eco plus you know the ability to automatically detect brightness levels and adjust them accordingly thus basically prolonging the lamp life but there are notable light changes or flickering having that smack bang in the middle while you're enjoying a movie can be a little bit annoying so I personally tend to keep away the HD31 also has a throw ratio of 0.25 to 1, basically meaning that from about 30 centimetres back, you can actually get a 100 inch image. And we also have a native offset of 118 degrees. The HD31 also comes packing four corner keystone correction. And I personally think that this is a great step in the right direction. I'd love to see this being more widely adopted in 2019. It makes uh, uneven walls or awkward placements and setting up a projector in general, a complete breeze when you have four corner keystone correction built in. Optima have also gone back to the drawing board with the design of this new projector. It looks like nothing else in their catalogue of products. I would describe it as different, not in a bad way, just a combination of wavy and straight sleek modern lines. And with most short throw projectors, you might find yourself also wanting to move it around the house or take it over to a friend's house. And in that regard, I would say it's obviously not as small as something like LG's PF1000U, but it still manages to come in at a very respectable 340 millimeters in width 380 millimeters in depth with a height of 112 millimeters the projector also weighs in at 3.9 kilos so that's about average the design while it might not be totally inconspicuous in the environment it still manages to fit well into the living room thanks mainly to his sleek modern lines and the matte white finish so in terms of your entertainment needs, we also find a well-kitted selection of uh, connection options, whether it be your set-top box, the Amazon Fire Stick, or your Xbox or PlayStation with 2 times HDMI 1.4a. Both of them have support for MHL and 3D. You get two USB Type A's, one-time composite video in, and we also have the uh, legacy stuff like your VGA, and we also have a 3.5mm input if you want to hook up a soundbar. In terms of fan noise, it definitely is one of the more silent options currently out there on the market coming in around 25 to 26 decibel in my testing after one hour of runtime in eco mode so if you're sensitive to ambient fan noise and it gets on your nerves take a breath it's all good so image quality is it good 
Well, initial thoughts were average, but that's mainly because the out-the-box settings on the HD31 USD did require me to spend a lot of time configuring and tweaking the settings to get the best out of the overall picture quality. Now, this hasn't been the case with something like the Optima HD27E or the HD29 Derby, but with this one, it did require me to fiddle around with the settings and... Honestly, once I actually got the image to how I wanted, I was impressed by the colour tones, I was impressed by the sharpness, there was a little bit of soft edges obviously around the uh, left and right side and maybe a little bit on the top, but again, it's not really a point of focus, especially when you're playing a game or watching a movie, you're not really staring at the edge of the screen, so that's all fine. Black levels were decent on the same level as something like the HD27E. That said, the image did not have as much three-dimensional depth as something like the HD27E. But the overall picture quality here for an ultra short throw 1080p, it's rather good. In terms of the menu options, if you've ever owned an Optima projector in the past, it all looks very familiar. And even if you haven't, it's very much on the user-friendly side of things. No having to dig through sub-menus within sub-menus to find specific settings. It's just laid out in a pretty user-friendly manner. I guess the last thing you guys might want to know is whether you should invest in one of these. Well, it comes down to your needs. Do you actually need an ultra short throw? One scenario might be, for example, if you've got an entertainment unit with all your gear like your Xbox, your Blu-ray player and whatever, and you just simply want to pop the unit on top of your entertainment unit, plug in a few cables and you're off to the races. You don't want to be messing with drilling holes to putting up ceiling brackets. You don't want to be running cables, etc. Or quite simply, you just don't have the throw distance and have a smallish space, but still want the big screen experience. If this sounds like your situation, then yes, definitely check out the HD31 USD. I'll have it linked in the video description. But at this price point, if you don't need the ultra short throw aspect, you might also want to consider some 4K options like the UHD 300X, which is actually below a thousand pound now, or the very highly rated UHD 51A with Amazon Alexa built in, so you get your whole smart home experience from your projector. So that about wraps it up from me. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video and Happy New Year. And again, sorry for the lack of videos. There's going to be a whole host of videos around the corner now. So I'm hoping to pump out at least two videos per week, maybe three at a push. And if you're not a subscriber, get yourself subscribed. Lots of cool reviews coming up like the Google Home uh, Parrot and Affy and the very cool Optima UHL 55, which is the first of its kind. It's like a portable 4K projector. Till next time, my name's Mike and I'll catch you on the next one.